marriage there, and maybe uh, when you're all set, we'll say the marriage stops. You might repeat after me. I'll go slow so that we'll be able to hear it. So I and Calvin Michael Barber take you, Betty Lee Lancaster. I and Calvin Michael Barber take you, Betty Lee Lancaster. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. In accordance with the divine law. In accordance with the divine law. As set forth in the Holy Scriptures. As set forth in the Holy Scriptures. For Christian husbands. For Christian husbands. For as long as we both shall live together on earth. For, for as long as we both shall live together on earth. According to God's marital arrangement. According to God's marital arrangement. Would you like to put the ring on? <laughs> you know, this has never happened before. Huh? <laughs> Would you like to repeat that to me then? I, Betty B. Lancaster. I, Betty B. Thank you, Calvin Michael Barber. Thank you, Calvin Michael Barber. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To love and to cherish and deeply respect. To love and cherish and deeply respect. In accordance with the divine law. In accordance with the divine law. As set forth in the Holy Scriptures for Christian wives. As set forth in the Holy Scriptures for Christian wives. For as long as we both shall live together on earth. For as, as long as we both shall live together on earth. According to God's marital arrangement. And now, Betty and Mike, in the presence of Jehovah God, the author and the originator of the marriage arrangement, and all the witnesses here today, with the authority granted me as an ordained minister recognized by the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society in Montegalia County in the state of West Virginia. Pronounce your husband and wife. These are the words then of Christ Jesus as he gave counsel in God's word in Matthew chapter 19, verse 4 through 6. Did you not read that he who created them from the beginning made them male and female and said, For this reason a man will leave his father and his mother and will stick to his wife, and the two will be one flesh? so that they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has yoked together, let no man put apart. So, Mike, would you like to kiss your new bride? Okay, so on behalf of the Lancaster and the Barber family, then we, we wish to thank all of you for coming and sharing this happy occasion with us. And after a prayer, we'll we may greet the bride in the room at the back of the Kingdom Hall. So we'd like to ask Brother Longfellow if he would ask Jehovah's blessings on the new family unit. Father in heaven, it's with happiness we come before you this day. We appreciate this an arrangement you have for your faithful servants. You know, you who invented marriage are especially involved in marriage, and you are especially you especially care about marriages among those dedicated Christian servants of yours. And so we pray that you be especially with this couple, with Michael and Betty, whom we all love, and whom we know as dedicated servants of yours, as they enter into this marriage arrangement with you with them, we pray that you guide and direct them, that they may continue to be happy. We know they're very happy now, and we hope that their happiness will continue and will grow as their love grows, and it will grow as long as they remain obedient to you and to be directed by the principles that you have taught them. We know that their marriage can be one to eternity and their happiness can increase forever. So continue to bless them and all of us. As may we also, as time goes by, contribute whenever we may to uh, this marriage arrangement by helping and assisting. And we know that in the future they too will be able to in turn help others. So we ask forgiveness for our shortcomings. We ask that you could continue by your Holy Spirit to be with and bless all your servants everywhere. And once again, we especially ask your blessing on this marriage arrangement. So for all your blessings and the happinesses you grant us, the opportunities to live forever in continuing happiness, we thank you and bless you in Jesus' name.
red mustache. Okay, my kids are going to have red mustache. I like red mustache. I have color. Yeah, red hair. Thank you. Okay, okay. Right here, a bunch of numbers. Right there, attachment number. It's in between one or two of the numbers there. Okay, this is what you mean. Don't forget the focus. Don't forget the focus. Don't forget the focus. Do I get in the way? I'm sorry, don't mind. Sure. Open your teeth. I'm going to wake up. Okay. Alright, well, I'll cover that. Okay, watch here. Now I can see how long it lasts. Oh, I feel lucky. That's going to make a good one. Thank <laughs> you. 